Yo, what is going on guys? So in today's video, we're going to be discussing all the new changes in Rogue Slayers that's going to be coming. Now, before we do that, because your guys' feedback is everything, and you guys said the combat was a little bit... You guys said the combat was a little bit wonky, um, a little bit messy, and just overall, you guys didn't really like the smoothness of the combat. And so we decided to rescript the entire combat system, and we're going to be going through some of the problems in this game that is all going to be changed. And then I'm going to show you guys, I'm actually going to go to the revamped version, and we're going to show you guys the entire new combat, which is very similar, almost the same, but just no messy stuff. So like the first thing is pay attention to the third M1, and notice how my sword teleports back to this point instead of actually animating going back so look so notice how it teleported and then also when you go block look at how like my legs start to twitch kind of very weird looking right and then the second thing is look at when i use thunderclap you're going to notice a very slight delay at the beginning of the thunderclap look so like my body kind of twitched before it actually did the thunderclap and the same is with sixfold and then we're also going to be rescripting the entire knockback system as well. So let's go ahead and go head to the revamp version and show you guys all the changes. All right, so we're in the revamp version. And then as you guys can see, you know, it just goes right back to the combat position each time. As you guys can see, we also have a M1 sword trail. Just a lot better unequipped. And equip animations a lot smoother a lot cooler and also when we use the thunderclap it's an instant sequence and the sixfold instant and a little bit cooler looking in design and things of that nature so we also are have worked on the running and everything so you can see there's a little bit better tilting and when you run you get that speed up and then it kind of slows down a little bit so we're basically re we also redid the movement and the combat as well two and one and uh, hopefully this update is going to release Saturday. We're trying to get this revamp update out Saturday. Um, right now, all we have to do is finish up a little bit of tweaks, uh, finish up flame breathing, and then gonna do a ton of testing, ton of testing, make sure that everything is operational and things of that nature. And then we're gonna go for that update, which will make the combat so much smoother. So this is basically the update log that we're going for. So we're going for the combat revamp, then we're gonna go get water breathing out, do the whole water breathing release update. And then we are going to focus on the, sca the stat tree and the second boss, uh, the second bosses, I should say. So the second bosses that are gonna be into the game is gonna be Tamari and Yahaba, the arrow demon and the ball demon. You're going to be able to, when you fight, you're going to fight, have to fight both of them at the same time. So it's super recommended you have a party. We're going to release those two bosses along with the um, stat update. So you're going to be able to upgrade your stats by fighting bosses, getting certain amounts of executions, and using yin. And those are going to help you boost your stats against these bosses and things of that nature. And also a lot more drops. We might also make certain auras give you certain buffs as well and certain swords gives you buffs. Let me know any recommendations in the comments below and I just wanted to keep you guys up to date with everything that's happening. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, and I almost forgot. We also have a little bit of different sequence to the combat so you guys can see here. Two, three, four, jump slam. So you actually have a jump slam now that you can now use. So basically what you do, you go one, two, three, four, jump M1. Then you can go ahead into an ability, one, two, three, four, jump. Then we could go into another ability. So it's a little bit better than, um, since we decided to remove move stacking as a whole and we added that sequence instead. So that's basically like the fifth M1 uh, sequence. Thank you guys for watching.